Hey YouTube, Jody's Basement. Back at you with another video. Uh, it's Wednesday and I'm excited about this one. I've been waiting for a long time for this, uh, probably a couple of months because I've been looking at this company and wondering, amongst other companies like it, if this is something that's worth it for a guy like me. So tonight's the night we start to find out. So a little, little background. Um, this is Vinyl, V-N-Y-L, you can see. They've been around for a little while. They had a rough beginning. But they're, they're a record service, and if you're a guy like me, if you were around in the 70s and 80s, if most of your record collection was built on Columbia Record Club and RCA and all of those 12 for a penny deals, then you probably are immediately drawn to something like this. This is the modern day version of that. Um, gone are the days of 12 for a penny, okay? But really quick, and I don't want to take up too much time, but Vinyl is uh, a company that you sign up with, you get a subscription, you tell them everything about yourself in terms of your musical tastes and such, and then they personally curate a selection of three records every month and send them to you in this sort of nice looking pink box. Um, it's completely random to me. I have no idea what's going to be in the box. Um, but the reason why I didn't sign up sooner, obviously, I mean, it's, it's, it's roughly, I think it was $100 for a three month subscription. Um, but number one, the company wasn't doing great in the beginning, and I was a little nervous about it. And number two, most, and when I say most, I mean all, pretty much all, of the videos with uh, vinyl unboxings on YouTube are of young, I don't want to say, you know, I'm talking about teenage, 20-something girls that are opening up these boxes and going crazy when they pull out Fallout Boy and the Lumineers and all the stuff that... It's just not on my list of things to listen to. Um, so I was hesitant because I'm noticing that every time I do a search for vinyl, hoping I can see, you know, a metal or a rock guy or a prog guy like me get something cool, it's always not. So I thought about it and thought about it, and I searched and searched YouTube, couldn't find anybody like me who has done this before. And then one day around the first of the year, I just said, you know what, the only way I'm going to find out is if I try it. And I want to give a shout out to my friend Jennifer from work who yeah, was influential in me going this direction. Um, and I think we're both curious as to how this is going to turn out. So I did it. I signed up. And when you sign up, much to their credit, it's a very extensive sign up. You go through a really, uh, a, a, like a 10 question survey. I mean, you can be as detailed as you want. And believe me, I was very detailed. And I said, you know, no country and, and no, you know, teenage pop music. I don't want Taylor Swift. Um, stuff like the Lumineers. And it's all good. I respect it all, but it's just not my taste. Um, I'm a prog and a rock guy. I'm a heavy metal guy. I'm a pure power pop guy. I'm a Beatles guy. And I have a very detailed uh, collection on Discogs that's registered, which they ask you about. And you can put in your Spotify. You can put in your uh, there's other services they ask you about. Discogs is one. So I entered my entire collection of Discogs. It's always been there. Um, and that was very important. And also a, a very detailed questionnaire. So I went through the whole thing, filled out everything exactly as I possibly could, and hit submit. And boom, here's the first shipment. So each month, I know just from watching these videos, they send you three vinyls along with a handwritten card from your personal chef, your, your curator, curator. And we'll see. Uh, I, again, this is going to be something fresh. I bet you it was, it was fresh for them. Uh, I don't know. We're going to find out what's in here, and we'll see. Part of the reason also why I did this three-month subscription is because I have some. Sw I'm allowed to swap. So I think I, I think I'm allowed one. I'm not even sure how many swaps I'm allowed. Um, hopefully, I won't have to swap. Whoops. Fail. Um, hopefully uh, there won't be any need to swap. But we're going to find out. So I'm going to leave the handwritten note for last uh, I don't because it's going to give away what's in the box. And I'm just going to look at these three records and we're going to see if they did a good job or not. And hopefully if they did, well, other people will be motivated to do the same thing that I did. Right, there you go. So my, my personal, uh, they, you pick a vibe each month and the vibe that I picked was um it was a it was a it was a holiday something about i don't know i don't even know if the vibe the vibe has any sort of meaning to all this i have no idea but this is kind of a cool little poster um hoops 
Glenn Henser, The Offspring. It's got some nice. Anyway, they have a good store, and I, you know, I looked at their store and I thought there's some cool stuff in there. So, let's see. All right. So the first thing we're going to pull out of this box this month is Ash Writer. Ash Reader. Ash Writer. I've never heard of this. Uh, the album is called Hola, <laughs> H-O-L-A. So that means hello in Spanish. That much I know. Uh, I don't know. I've never heard any. I've never heard of this. Hola. See that? Hola. It's kind of a cool cover. Looks a little proggy. Flowers. I don't know what it is. We'll have to find out. Never heard of it. Oh, here's my vibe. Slay my name. <laughs> Hashtag slay my name. It's a little cheesy, the whole vibe thing. I don't really know... You have a choice of, I mean, does it matter if I pick a different vibe? Would I get different records? I don't even know, but Slay My Name is a, st a sticker. All right, so Ash Re Writer. All right, album number two, Bolins. Oh, this is Mark Bolin, right, I'm guessing? Yeah, okay, this is cool. Mark Bolin, who is a, a, a guitarist, Mickey Finn, Steve Curry, Gloria Jones, Davey Luton, Dino Dines on keyboards. This is kind of neat. Uh, this is a reissue 180 gram vinyl. It's kind of cool. Bolin's Zip Gun. So, cool. I've heard of Mark Bolin. Um, I know he's very well respected. So, um, I, I don't have any of his stuff. So, there you go. What band was Mark Bolin in? Can you help me out? I, I have some helpers. No, no. Look up Mark Bolin real quick. M-A-R-C. They say Bolin. he's indie pop. Indie pop. This guy's indie pop. Okay. I have some helpers over here who are on the uh, are searching. M-A-R-C Bolin. I, this is kind of a cool, it's, kind of, it's a die cut cover also. Back's kind of neat. Um, yeah, he was in like T-Rex or something. He was in one of those bands from like, a, not T-Rex, but... He's a singer songwriter. He was known as a lead singer of the glam rock band T-Rex. T-Rex. Okay, so I was right. Okay, so he was in T-Rex. So that's kind of cool. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to hear this. It's kind of neat. It's hard rocking. I'm a hard rocker. All right, album number three and final album of the month is oof, Psalm. Wow, okay, Psalm of the Morbid Whore is the name of the album. Loincloth. Loincloth is the band. I'm gonna guess this is metal or metalcore or something. Guitars, bass, bass, sound design, drums. Wow. Wow, I can't say the names of these songs on video. Um, yikes. <laughs> I wish Let the Snakes Decide is one of the song names. I can't say the rest of them. Uh, recorded by Gringa, Flushing Hill. I'm going to, okay, I, I would be shocked if I was wrong on this. This is probably metalcore. Not my thing. Uh, I like heavy metal. I am at, at heart a metalhead. Um, metalcore though, not not really my thing. The screaming vocals and such. So this may not be my my jam, but we're gonna give it a shot and see. We're gonna give it a shot and see. So let's see. I have a, a card in here. I want to read this to you. Hopefully this is uh, okay to read to you. Well, if not, we'll find out. Hey Jordan, welcome. I'm starting off your first slay your name box with the unparalleled English rock band T Rex. And their 1975 album, Bolin's Zip Gun. Okay, so this is actually a T-Rex album? Oh. Huh. I was under, I thought it was... All right, so I guess it is a T-Rex album called Bolin's Zip Gun. That's interesting. See, I'm showing my uh, ignorance when it comes to T-Rex. That's cool. Um, next, you've got a limited edition vinyl from Bay Area songstress Ash Ryder. That's this one, right? Indie pop. Uh, it's a soft, polished take on Power Pop. Power Pop, I'm a Beatles nut. Power Pop is my thing. I'll give it a shot. Finally, I'm sending you an impressive instrumental album from the heavy metal band Loincloth. Hope you dig them best. And there's the, the card. Okay. Anything else in there? That's kind of a cool. Whoop. What's that? Oh, it's a vinyl sticker to put on. My kid's notebook, maybe. All right. So, let's recap once more. Ash Writer, Ash Reader. I'm not sure how to pronounce. Ola. Nice way to open my first box with an Ola. We'll see how that is. That's a Power Pop, Soft Power Pop. 
T-Rex, Bowen's Zip Gun, not familiar. Look forward to hearing that one. Instrumental Metal, Psalm of the Mor Morbid Whore, Loincloth, Arr, sounds pretty intimidating. Um, I'll give them a listen. I'm going to give them a shot, right? That's what your curator is supposed to be able to do, tell you what you might like based on your tastes. We're going to give them a shot and see how they are. I'll make another video and give you an update and let you know. Um, it's coming close to my next time that I have to order. So um, for now, thank you very much, Vinyl. All right. We'll let you know how it is in the next video. Thanks, guys.